guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney and I've been a part-time reseller since 2018. So I have a confession. I was not supposed to be sourcing, but I went to an estate sale. I was just perusing the estatesales.net app uh, with no intention of finding anything or going anywhere but I found a listing that was just too good to pass up. So I broke my no sourcing and filled an Ikea bag. I found some amazing things. The closet of this woman, the homeowner, was just wild. I mean, literally, the closet was bigger than the room I'm standing in right now. And I know you probably can't tell how big it is from the camera view, but I mean, it's our guest bedroom. So her closet was the size of a bedroom. There were a lot of pictures on the estate sale app of like Louis Vuitton bags, Tory Burch bags, coach bags, things like that. We rolled up. I did take an Ikea bag in with me just in case I happened to rack up and I did. So when I got there, the one of the bedrooms or the bedroom that was connected to the large closet was kind of set up like a boutique in a way. It looked like they had pulled all of the higher end items out onto the racks in that room. And then they also had accessories like bras, bralettes, um, tank tops, sports bras, scarves, hats, things like that displayed as well. And then when you walked through the room, then there was a full closet that also was full of clothing. So I did find a few things on the, we'll call it a boutique rack, on the boutique rack, that were priced up and then I also found some regular priced items as well. I think this may have been the first time I've been to an estate sale by this specific company and I don't think that they're maybe super established. They didn't have a lot of like processes like a lot of the other estate sale companies that I shop at um, around in this area. Like there, there were no individual prices on most things. There was like a price list on the wall, but it was kind of vague. Like I didn't see any listings for how much shoes cost anywhere. And the lady that was working in the closet, I heard, overheard her say like, I work here, but I don't have any experience and I'm not really sure on pricing. So I didn't even bother asking her. So anyways, um, I figured we would go through this. There's some, you know, really great higher end items. And then there's some more bread and butter. It's kind of all mixed in. I got a lot of dresses. This lady loved her dresses and I'm actually considering going back today because it's half off day today and there were quite a few things that I would have paid 50% off of what they were asking. So we'll see if I decide to be a bad girl again today. But we will go ahead and jump into it. I will say that this lady, her, the homeowner's favorite brand was definitely Rails. Um, I got quite a bit of Rails. I have sold, Rails can kind of be hit or miss. Um, I have sold some non, so if you don't know, Rails is a clothing brand and they're kind of known for their flannel button up, um, long sleeve plaid shirts. And those I do pick up if I find them at the thrift, but they also sell other types of clothing as well. Um, like nice dresses, tops, sweaters, lounge sets. I mean, it goes on and on. Um, so I, I believe if I remember correctly, I have sold a regular rails dress. I want to say it was new with tags. I got it um, retail arbitrage and it sold really well if I'm rem remembering correct. If I'm remembering correctly. Okay. So um, I picked up quite a few pieces of rails. So the first one is new with tags and let's see if it has a style name on it. It does not. So this is a midi dress. It is more of a summery piece, but I still figured I would pick it up. And she didn't give me an itemized receipt, so I don't remember exactly how much I paid for everything, but I'll try to guesstimate. I want to say I paid around $20 for this one. Um, and, you know, that may have been a little bit too much. I may regret that, but I don't know. I was kind of in like a shopping high, and, you know, when that happens, sometimes you get blinders up and you just buy things. So that was my first Rails piece. Um, up next, I believe is also rails, but this one is pre-owned size medium. Um, most of the pieces were a size smaller medium, but this is really cute. Another like summery piece. It's floral. It's a lined midi dress. She loved midi and maxi dresses. I did not see a lot of mini dresses and y'all know me. I'm nosy. So when 
Although I'm there for the clothing, I also look throughout the rest of the house. And I did notice that there were a lot of like law books on the shelves. So I assume that one of the homeowners was in law, um, like a lawyer or something like that. And then also they, some, somebody purchased a dresser and moved it out of the way when I was in line to check out. And there was a, an envelope that was, had fallen, I guess, behind or underneath the dresser. And it was addressed to a doctor, somebody. So maybe it was a lawyer and a doctor. And I guess that would make sense and would tell us why, you know, she had such a ball and closet, but all right, this is in the same exact print as the last one, but it's a different style. This is a size small. This has like a cute little puff short sleeve. It's got a side zip there. This one, this is longer. This is still a midi, not quite a maxi, but it is a longer cut. Um, did I see a slit? Yes, there's a little slit in the side. And I should be putting comps on the screen so you guys know what I am expecting to get for these pieces. Per usual, I picked up one random vintage piece. The brand is Meester, and I just couldn't pass this up. Look how fun. It is so vibrant. It literally looks like it could have been produced yesterday. There's no fading, no pilling, no holes, no anything. And I just thought somebody would want to wear that on a ski trip or for a tacky sweater party or what have you. Uh, this is a new to me brand. I literally this week learned about it from, I believe, Ashley over at Hustle at Home Mom. She posted a video where she went to a local like influencer consignment store or something like that that had a lot of higher end pieces. And this is one that she mentioned. I'd never heard of it or seen the tag. Um, not going to try to say that because y'all know how that goes. But this seems to be like a like an athletic type of brand. It's UPF 50. It says quick dry two-way air circulation made in Indonesia size large. This is just like a micro gingham print lightweight like popover quarter zip top. So I'm sure that she she had a lot of tennis skirts. Um, so I assume that she played tennis as a hobby and she would easily wear that um, to a tennis match. All right, up next, this is probably one of the least substantial pieces that I got, but it is Sundance and it was a pretty print. And I wanna say this was like $6, five or $6. So I figured that was worth it. Um, I should be able to at least double or triple my money on this, but it was just really, really pretty. So I couldn't pass it up. Everything was in excellent condition. I did not see, I mean, I could always find a flaw when I'm photographing, but I did look these pieces over pretty well and I didn't see any significant flaws when I was going through them. All right, this is a brand that I don't pick up usually, Current Elliott, but this is a more recent tag from them and these are new with tags. So these retailed for $228. Um, it looks like the style might be called the Side Street and the color is Claret. C-L-A-R-E-T. These are a size 27. Uh, let's see. So they're kind of like a maroon burgundy color. What's the difference in those? Maroon and burgundy? I always put both of them when I have something like this color. And then when I select colors, like from the color option tab on Poshmark, I usually pick red and purple because I feel like this is like a happy medium between the two. So these are a button fly. They are like a velour type pant, which I don't know is, I mean, I guess it, sh it must be in if this brand is producing it in the last couple years. I don't know if this brand puts dates in theirs. Let me see. No, it looks like they do not, but I should be able to find that. And the cut is a boot cut. If this was a skinny, I definitely would have left it behind. But because it was that more current like boot cut flare, I thought I'd pick it up. These were, I want to say like $15. Um, so I did pay up quite a bit for those. This is new to me. Um, when I first, it's a pair of sh corduroy shorts. When I came across them, all I saw was this made in USA. And if you don't know, items that are made in the USA can be expensive um, because it costs more to produce items in the United States than it does overseas. So typically they retail higher when they're made in the U.S. Um, and I hunted inside for a tag, couldn't find one, but on the back I found Birdwell Beach Britches. 
And I did look these up because I'd never heard of them. Um, I didn't think they were vintage, but when I was doing research, I did see a lot of, I want to say it was 70s tags. Um, so I need to do a little bit more research. I'll, but comps looked great. I want to say they were like $30 or $40, and I only paid, I think, four for those. All right, I got a few accessories. They're kind of mixed throughout here. Um, up first is a Love Your Melon ear warmer. If this fits me, I may end up keeping this because I don't actually have one of these, but you know, I have a big old noggin. Do y'all remember back when you were like really young, like middle school or something, and you were trying to flirt awkwardly and you would like take a boy's hat off and put it on? I couldn't do that because they never fit. So love that for me. Um, so I don't know if this is going to fit or not. If it doesn't, I will sell it. I am familiar with this brand and I think it sells decent, not for a fortune, maybe like, I don't know, $15 if I had to guess, but even if I end up keeping it, I'll still put comps on the screen so you know what to expect for that. Um, I did find two matching hats. They are from J. Crew and they're both new with tags. And the reason I picked them up is because they are super recent. Um, this is one of the newer J. Crew tags. I just learned this. Um, this is, I think they started producing this like 2022, maybe. Um, this specific piece is from. Yes, holiday of 2022. So it's new with tags. It had the date tag in it. It's the newest label. Um, let me see what the material is. I don't even remember if I looked that up. Oh, I do remember looking at this. Yes, it's 61% uh, polyamide and 29% lamb's wool and 10% polyester. So I may do a bundled listing for these since they are identical. Um, I'm going to have to look up comps if they're going for like $30 a piece on their own, then I'll definitely list them separately. But if it's more of like a, I don't know, 15 or less dollar sale, um, then I'll probably bundle the two together. But they are the same style, little beanies. Um, I picked up a few scarves. I normally don't find a lot of scarves, but um, this lady had a great collection. There was one, I was so bummed. I might, I'm hoping it's still there today if I end up going back. It was a Jay McLaughlin, like 100% cashmere cream scarf and it was brand new with tags and the price on the tag was like $248 which for a scarf is wild um so I, I did find another Jay McLaughlin um did I say the reason I didn't pick the cashmere one up is because they wanted $25 for it so I would pay half of that for a $248 retail um piece and a reputable brand but we'll see if it's still there so this one is jay mclaughlin as well um they didn't price this one up because it didn't have an actual retail price on it it's not anything special content wise uh 100 cotton but the print is stunning i love this so much so it's this like sheer lightweight this is perfect for transitional weather spring or fall it's got these cute little tassels on it um, and I did look it over it's in perfect condition I did find a couple she had a ton of scarves and I found a few in the bin that had moth holes in them so because I saw that I made sure to look at all of these like really thoroughly just to make sure that the ones that I was grabbing did not have that so really really pretty I think that should do well I've never sold a Jay McLaughlin scarf but again like I said it's a reputable brand um and everybody loves scarves so I assume that they will do well all right I have heard other resellers on YouTube talk about this brand I've never found it until yesterday but the brand is it Iran Iran uh woolen mills so this is traditional Iran islands tweed 100% wool um, and it's just this black, gray, cream, and red printed scarf. Um, and it's just like a traditional scarf, you know, with the little tassels. You could wear it a million different ways. So I did not look up comps for this, but they only wanted, I think, $6 for it. Um, so I went ahead and took a chance and picked that up. All right, this was another new tag scarf. I want to say this was J. Crew. Yes, so this was J. Crew. It is older. It's from spring of 2013, but it's new with tags. And this is just like a jersey knit, 100% um, modal. Yeah, that makes sense. It's very stretchy, very lightweight, thin. Let's see, is it? It looks like, I don't remember what these are called, but they. 
infinity scarf. Is that it? Where it like goes around like this. I guess you could tie it here or do a double. So, um, again, it is an older piece, but it's in perfect condition and it's new with tag. So I picked that up. I want to say, oh, great. Y'all look at my hair. I want to say I paid four or $6 for that one as well. Woo. Static. All right. Let's see what else we have barely made a dent in this bag. All right. Oh, there's one more scarf. I probably should have looked this up, but the lady at checkout, where's the tag? The lady at checkout said it was a great brand um, and she had a handful of these. So if I look it up and um, it's going for a lot and they're still there for 50% off, I may pick more up. So the brand is Outlander, the series. It's 100% lamb's wool made in Scotland, dry clean only, designed in Canada, Canada by Abby Shot. Abby Shoal, Abby Shot. And it looks like this is from 2015. So it's just this really pretty plaid. This could almost be like a, what's the word, androgynous, where it could go like, uh, it could be a, a male's or female's um, style. The colorway could go either way, I think. So anyways, it's just, again, just like the Iran or Iran one. It's that traditional like fringe, perfect for fall and winter. So I will look that one up, and if I end up going back today and they're selling for a lot, I'll pick up a few more of them. All right, we've got another Rails piece. This one is a size small. This one has like a vintage vibe to it. It's got a gingham top and a floral bottom and a striped bottom tier. So lots of mixed media, not mixed media, mixed prints. I think mixed media is when it's different fabric types. Um, and then mixed print is when it's like, different patterns. I don't know. I could be wrong. Comment below and let me know if I am. So it's just got this keyhole in the back. Really pretty. Again, more of a summery piece, spring piece, but I thought it was worth picking up. All right. Yet again, another rails. This one's actually an extra small, but it is new with tags. This one retail was $218 and it looks like the style is the Ivy in the color black. So this is, I'd say like a knee length dress. If you're tall, I guess it would be considered a mini, um, but it's really cute, really basic. It's got these cute ties on the side and it is tiered. Um, and if you're new to reselling, a dress like this where there's like a seam, how do I explain this? So there's like a seam, it's almost like levels to the dress. So there's a seam and like a different um, size panel starts after that, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, that's what you call tiered. This is a like a single tiered dress, but you can find like a midi or maxi that has multiple layers. So there'd be another seam here with another panel, another seam with another panel, etc. Um, and that is a keyword that I used, uh, the word tiered, because I think people actively search it out. So if you have a dress like this, like this style, I highly recommend using the keyword tiered. All right. This was exciting. I think this is actually the first time I've ever found this brand. Uh, and I don't know how to say it. Viore, I believe. It's got like this. Who is it? Somebody says, I think it might be McThrissy that says the CVS receipt tags. This one definitely has one of those. Um, so this is actually like a little tennis dress, like an athletic dress in a gray color it has pockets this is the viore logo and this is like a little patch which is cute um so yeah just a little tank dress it's got a built-in shelf bra um this is a size small yeah this tag it says tear me up top there so i think it's like lululemon where they expect you to take that out i don't know if viore has the size anywhere else like if you do tear that out like lululemon let me check all right, it's not there. All right, I don't think it has the size anywhere else. So it's similar to Fabletics in that way. Okay, there is an interior tag that has a size. So that's good. That's better than nothing. I hate when I find like Fabletics and it's like an awesome piece and great condition and the tearaway tag is torn out and there's they don't put it anywhere else. I would pick it up a lot more often if they did that. So 
this was an exciting find. This is Sundance. You guys know I love this brand, but this is the type of piece from Sundance that I'm always looking for. Something that's like boho embroidered, gives like a hippie, like earthy vibe. Um, this is a beautiful embroidery. It has almost like, I don't think it's tulle, but it's this like really thin material. This has one minor flaw. It's got like one loose piece here. So I may see if I can um, use my needle threader and tuck that back into the inside. It seems like that should be relatively easy. This is a size small and it's 100% cotton. So I think that'll do well. If I had to guess, maybe like 35 to 40. It is the perfect time of year for it. All right, this is something, I picked this up right when I got there because I wasn't sure how much I was going to find. In hindsight, I probably should have put it back, but it's Jay McLaughlin. I want to say I paid $8 for these. They're pre-owned plaid. Are they plaid? No, what is that? Y'all know I suck at patterns. Is that hound's tooth? I can never remember. Um, but these are in excellent condition. They're a size four. I think they're their traditional Catalina cloth. Um, the 78% rayon, 14% nylon, 8% spandex. I don't know if that's Catalina cloth. I don't think it is. I think Catalina cloth only has two different types of materials and this one has three, but it is still very soft and very stretchy and really similar to the Catalina cloth. All right. This was a really exciting find. Let me see if I can get this tag straight for you. This is a pair of Nua Tags Emerson Fry pants. Uh, it doesn't have a style or anything on them, but look how stinking cute. They're these gingham wide leg high waist paper bag pants. I do wonder if this came with an original belt because a lot of times paper bag waist pants and shorts come with like a tie. Um, so I'll have to look up stock photos to see if that's missing. And if so, I'll have to note that in the listing, but these are so stinking cute. They feel like linen. Yeah. hundred percent linen made in the USA. So I'm excited to look these up. I did not look up comps on these. I want to say I paid around like 18, 15, I'd say 15 to $20 on these. So we'll see how those do. All right. What is this? Oh yes. This is Nation LTD. If you don't know this brand, write it in your Bolo notebook, size small. This is a super unassuming brand. So everything that I've ever seen by them is very basic, very simple. A lot of like capsule wardrobe type pieces. Um, not a lot of prints, if any. Um, yeah, and it just, it doesn't look like it would be that expensive, but this stuff retails for a ton. So this is a, let's see. This is a maxi dress. It does have a smocked waist area, so that would probably come up to make this top part a little bit more loose and flowy. Um, it's this beautiful tan color. It's in excellent condition. Did I say it's a size small? Let me see what the material is. Um, so I've listed Nation LTD before, but it hasn't sold yet. 100% um, Pima cotton. So I think I have a long duster cardigan by them listed for a consignment client. That may be it. I don't know. I feel like maybe I found another piece, but I can't remember. I know I've looked it up a few times and I don't always like, I found a couple basic tees um, and tank tops and I've left those because the comps did not support picking it up. But the more substantial pieces like this maxi dress that I picked up or that duster cardigan, I want to say comps are between like 75 and a hundred dollars, but I'll put it on the screen. When I was sifting through the short section, I saw this popping out of the side, which made me super happy. Cause if you don't know, Tucker Nook is like a website similar to like Anthropology and Revolve and Ever Eve where they have their own house brands, but they also sell other brands and they're all very expensive. So when I saw that tag, I was super stoked. I have sold one Tucker Nook branded like sweater top. Um, that I thrifted that had a pin mark on it and it sold really well. I want to say like $75 in less than a week so, and I haven't found it since then. And that was a couple years ago. So I was super stoked to see that. Um, this is the Tucker Nuck brand. Unfortunately, it's nothing substantial. It's a pair of like little cream bike shorts, but they aren't plain. They do have this little, 
I don't know what you would call that. It's not crochet, but it gives a crocheted vibe. Um, little detail. They do have pockets. So, I mean, I would imagine that these were still expensive because they are tucker nook, but I'll have to look up comps. The, they're a size small and they're 75% polyester, 25% spandex. Um, so yeah, these may not go for a ton, but I think she only charged me $4 for these. So I am certain that I will profit on that. All right, just a couple pieces left. So this is rails as well. I think this might be our last rails piece. This is a size small and this one is so pretty. I'm obsessed with this. I wish that they made this in my size. Um, this is another example of tiered. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but there's a seam right here and it starts another panel. And then there's a seam here also starts another panel. So this is a, depending on your height, if you're shorter than like 5'3", it would be a maxi because I'm 5'4", and it's like hovering my ankles. And if you're taller than 5'4", it would be a midi. Um, but this is beautiful. It's just got a couple, um, what are those called? Mother of, not, yeah, Mother of Pearl buttons. I think that's what those are called. Um, and this is really pretty fall color. So I expect this one will actually do well this season. The other ones, that are more like spring and summer like I may have to sit on those for a while all right these were exciting um I found two pair of Kendra Scott earrings and they only wanted four dollars a piece for them um the lady running the sale said that she wasn't sure if they were Kendra Scott or not but let me show you if you've sold Kendra Scott before or if you haven't if you look on the side, really small, it'll say Kinder Scott right there. So these were a great find. I'm, I assume that I should be able to turn the $4 per piece into, I don't know, I haven't sold these in a while, maybe like 40-ish. I'll put comps on the screen though, um, but that should be a great flip. And then lastly, my favorite find, I did pay up a lot for this. I paid $50 for it. But the brand is Oliphant. I don't know if that's how you say that. This is a size small. And I did do comps on this before I picked it up because that is a lot to pay for something. Um, it's this stunning, tiered, like feminine, flowy, almost gauzy maxi dress. Um, and it's got a smocked back. It's got those straps where they're adjustable with a button. So you can make this, the straps shorter or longer. And I want to say comps for this. I can't remember, but I do remember it being worth $50. So I'll put whatever comps are on the screen. Um, and I was kind of back and forth on this one, but I've really, this has been on, this brand has been on my bucket list for a while. Um, and because I knew I could turn it into a profit, I did go ahead and pick it up. So that was it for clothing. I also got something for personal use. Um, I got these little dog nail cutting things um because Remy we're able to go we cut her hair so short each time that we're able to go longer without getting her hair like her groomed again but her nails get really long so I'm going to try to do them at home I may fail miserably but I think she charged me four dollars for both of those so it was definitely worth it so anyways that is everything um I am super excited about that haul lots of bolo brands in there so if you're a new reseller most of what I called out, I would write down and keep an eye out for. Um, these are not brands that I find that often. Sundance I find, I'd say like a couple times a month. Um, Rails I'll find every few months. Tucker Nook, Oliphant, if that's how you say that, Emerson Fry. Those are like finding a needle in a haystack. I've only found Tucker Nook once and I haven't found those other two ever, so. Anyways, I think that that haul was worth breaking my rules and going sourcing for. Um, I definitely went in there with the mindset that I was not getting anything like that I could just get at a thrift store and, um, you know, adding to my death pile. Like I was only going to pick stuff up if it was like Bolo brands and worth it. And I definitely feel like it was. So I have yet to decide if I am going back today for 50% off day, um, but if I do, I will do a second haul for you guys if I get enough to make it worth it. 
and yeah wanted to share this with you guys so thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate it i'm not sure what is next on the list for content but i always have something so if you are not already would love it if you would subscribe if you're interested in being notified when my next video comes out just click the little bell and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thank you guys so much have a great day Bye.